Hi, thank you for your interest in our credit card import suite app. This suite app will save you hours of processing your credit card transactions in NetSuite every day, week, and month. Instead of manually entering your credit card transactions or creating complicated CSV imports, our native suite app automatically creates credit card transactions for all your expenses with a click of a button. First released in 2013, Credit Card Import is now used by NetSuite customers all over the world to reduce the time, errors, and frustrations caused by manual processing. Automate Transaction Entry Our application imports your credit card statement file and performs an automation procedure within NetSuite, meaning that there is no need to manually create or reconcile transactions. Expenses are processed to the relevant GL account and you can capture the value of any field you need, including custom fields. We support all common users cases like billable expenses and even cross-subsidiary transactions. Single source of truth. The Fast4 credit card import app will be your single source of truth, combining transaction creation and reconciliation of the credit card balance in one single action. This leads to better control over your credit card balances, better reporting, and elimination of error. What's more, as the app is a native suite app, users have no need to leave their NetSuite screen. Manage as many credit cards as you need. You're not restricted to managing one credit card account. We can configure the credit card import suite app to manage as many accounts as you have, including different currencies and different formats. My colleague Sarah will now give you a demo of the application. To start importing a credit card statement, simply navigate to Transactions, Credit Card Import, Import Credit Card. On this page, you will see the option to import one file for multiple credit cards or one file per credit card. Choose your preferred option and select the CSV file of the statement you wish to upload from your computer. We will look at options for configuring imports in more detail later in the demonstration, but let's process a standard single card statement for now. As you will see, the import has created a credit card statement. Start by giving this statement a short name so that it is easy to find at a later date. Note the Approval Status field. Using standard functionality, you can include a workflow to only post transactions once the statement has been approved ensuring no unapproved entries appear in your accounts. Let's take a look at the lines. Line 1 is a charge of $150 to LinkedIn. We have a couple of options. If this line can be allocated to an expense account, simply select the account in the Account field. In this instance, we will select Recruitment Costs. We could just leave the line like this and move on to the next line, and it will create a charge against this appropriate expense account. However, if you know the vendor, you can also allocate the cost to their record at this point. Let's select LinkedIn so that the charge will be allocated to them as a vendor as well. The next line, we will allocate to Meals and Entertainment. If needed, you can also add classifications to any line. Department, Class, and Location are standard classifications, but custom fields and custom segments can also be easily added as required you will see the next line was auto-matched to the expense account office expense. This is done by a custom matching rule. Let's look at how the rule works. We give each rule a name. In this instance, we specified that if the description on the statement contains the word office, we set the account to office expense and the department to finance. The next lines were auto-matched as well. Some existing users of this suite app import one statement from multiple credit cards or even multiple subsidiaries. Working from one single statement, users can easily change the credit card or even the subsidiary on the line without having to navigate through multiple screens, statements, or accounts. Let's select accounts for a few lines to show how quickly users can work through the credit card charges. The credit line on the statement that represents the payment can be managed several ways. A few of the options are to post it to a clearing account or directly to a bank account. 
For now, we will post it to Accounts Payable and select the credit card provider as the vendor. This will create an open AP position against the credit card provider. The normal Accounts Payable process can then be used to post the offsetting bank transaction. We do not have to finish all the lines at once. We can save the statement partially processed and come back later to finish the remaining lines. Users can also change already processed lines until the period is closed. We finish the process by clicking Save, and the Credit Card Import Suite app automatically creates a GL transaction for every line on the statement. After saving, the total fields on the statement are updated. The Statement Total field shows the new balance of the credit card account. By subtracting all charges and adding all credits to the statement start balance, the NetSuite balance now shows the actual GL balance in NetSuite for this credit card. The difference should be zero once all lines are processed. This way, no separate reconciliation is required. Let's now take a look at the configuration. For each credit card account, we create a configuration record. On the configuration record, simply indicate which columns from the import file represent the amount, the date, the description, and so on. You can also include additional fields to suit your needs or reporting preferences. It's really quick to set up, and you can copy these records as a starting point to configure multiple accounts. Finally, let's have a look at the pricing structure. The Credit Card Import app is purchased as an annual subscription, similar to NetSuite, with a one-time fee for implementation. Our pricing is calculated by the number of credit card accounts you wish to manage, based on multiples of 10. Implementation and training are included with your purchase and carried out remotely, at a time which is convenient for your team. This makes sure that the app is installed correctly and your team are confident using it from day one. Thank you very much for watching this video and your interest in our product. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us.